All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open two applications. The first is the application you're using in order to use your journal, and the second is whatever app you're using in order to create your templates. And so in my case, on here, I'm using GoodNotes 4 for my PDF annotator, and then I have Keynote as the free app that comes with the iPad in order to create my templates. All right, so starting here, I have the teaching journal that includes all the templates that I've created already. But if you scroll down, you'll notice that there are two templates that are blank pages. And so here's where I'll be designing and adding in templates that I create using Keynote. So keep in mind, I can create as many of these blank templates as I want. In this case, in GoodNotes, I can just click the one I want to copy, click done, and then I could just add them to the templates area. And so I can create as many templates as I want to using this journal, which comes with a full course, but also the free sample notebook that I have, as well as the two digital notebooks that have 12 sections rather than only six. So whatever the case may be, in any journal that you have that has blank page templates, you can create copies of these blank pages and then create templates to add to them so that you don't have to worry about running out of space to create templates. All right, so I'm just here on this first one. And then the first thing you wanna do is go to Keynote, is click the plus sign on the top right, and then the white presentation. And that'll just be a blank presentation and you can click and just delete those text boxes. Now, as you notice in my notebook, I have it in the horizontal landscape mode, but I also have notebooks in the portrait mode. If that's the case for you, then you can decide either keeping it like this in this format, or on the top right here, the three dots, you can go to document setup, and rather having it be in the slide size of four by three, you can make it a three by four. So you can have it in either portrait or landscape mode. I'll keep it in landscape because that's the notebook I'm using as my example. And so here you have a blank page. All right, so let's create a first template. Now let's say that you want a template that has five different columns of equal size. Now the first thing you can do is go on the top right here and click the plus sign. And you'll notice that on this third tab, you have some basic objects that you can use. I suggest using the square rather than creating individual lines to create a square or a rectangle. Once you click it, you can move it by dragging it wherever you want on the screen and changing its size as well. Something to keep in mind is on the notebook that's included with mine, there's a tabs on the bottom. So you wanna make sure you leave that space on the bottom of your template as well to make sure that it fits well in your page. So let's say you had this first column. The next thing you wanna do is change the design to match what you're looking for. So if you click on it and then click the paintbrush on the top right, you'll notice that you can now work with the style. And so the fill color will likely be white. So you have the white background that you can write on top of. Then you add a border, and now you can see it as a rectangle once again. Once you see it like this and you have the border, you can decide on your border style. So for example, if you click the style button, you see different types of lines. Whichever fits your style would work best. So for example, I'm gonna go with this one near the bottom. And the next step is the color that you want for this border. You can go with the usual black, or you can choose your favorite color or whatever color that you want for this template. So I'm gonna go with the purple. And then the width of the border, you can make it bigger or thinner. So I'm actually gonna make it pretty thick. Okay, I like that design. You could also add shadows of different types, or you can add a reflection as well. So really, you can just play around with this quite a bit. And then you could change how opaque it is. Once you have the look as you want on this style page, now you're gonna create copies of this particular rectangle. Because again, in this example, we're creating five columns. So if you click on it, you then click copy. 
and then click away from it, tap on the screen, and click paste. And you want to move it where, however close you want it to be to one another. So I'm going to keep it like that. Okay. And so now you can keep doing that. Click away and click paste again. Have it next to it. And paste again. Have it next to it. Okay. But as you notice, there's not going to be enough space at the end here for fifth column. So what do you do? Because resizing each of them individually will take a lot of work to make it equal. Instead, you want to tap on the first column and hold it down with your finger. Then you click on each of the consecutive columns and then raise up your finger. And this, this list will appear. You want to group them together so that they're one group. And now you'll notice that if you move the circle at the end of the columns, size it to whatever size you'd like. So on here, if I size it here, okay, that'll leave me enough space at the end. So now I click on it and I ungroup them. And now they're four individual columns again. And I'm going to copy that individual one and paste it at the end. And so now I have the five columns that I was looking for. I click on them again and I group them together. Now as one image, I can move it around to see it evenly on the screen. But even better, because it's on Keynote, if you click on the image and you copy it, once you go back to GoodNotes, you can tap on the screen and paste. And now just the image has been moved into your blank page template. And once again, on the bottom right here, you click the circle and you resize it to fit your page. Okay. So as you notice here, I have definitely enough space on the bottom here for the tabs. So I'm actually going to lower it quite a bit so that now I have space on the top to put in titles however I'd like. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, Monday through Friday, whatever the case may be, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and calories, it's up to you. But now I have this template that looks quite different from the five column template that comes with this full journal. So as you notice, this one up here, that's blank, and this one that's already named. So you can use this black lined, right, very simple template, but then potentially you can create more fun colored and designed ones that meet your own taste. Okay, so really you can get cre as creative or as simple as you'd like, depending on if you get this journal that comes with all 37 templates, the one that comes with just five blank pages, or the free one that comes with five templates built for you and then one blank page that you can keep copying and creating your own templates. It's up to you to just decide that. All right, and so that's a simple way of using Keynote to create templates. You can create as many as you'd like. You can just click the plus sign on the bottom here and once again, choose a blank page. And now you can start again from scratch on the top right here by clicking the plus sign. To wrap up, I want to quickly point out three more free apps that I can recommend using when creating your templates. So alongside the Keynote, I also recommend Canva, Over, and Magic Eraser. So they're the three that appear here. On Canva, for example, you can design more images or icons using what's already brought with the app. So here's an alarm clock that I chose by just clicking this plus sign on the bottom right and illustrations. You'll see that there's plenty. I just put alarm and these examples pop up, some free and some not. Okay. Once you have it, all you have to do is download it onto your computer on the top right here and it saves to your photos. As you notice, this has the white background. And so on Magic Eraser, when you click on the image you want to use, you can crop it down, click Done, and then anywhere you tap becomes transparent. And so on the top right here, when you click the Send, on the right, you click the tap, and then high resolution, 
and now it's saved as a transparent image. So if you go back to your notebook, to the next page of the blank template, on the top left, you just add an image. And you'll notice it comes with, on the bottom, the one with the white background, and then next to it, the one that's transparent. And you can resize it and use it throughout your journal. Alongside these two apps, there's also Over. Now, Over is a free app, but it comes with a pro plan that's subscription-based. I do not use the subscription for Over. So starting from the beginning, once you go into the app, in the middle here, you click the plus sign, and you choose a transparent background. It can be whatever size you want, but I'll keep it simple just by going to the one by one square, and I click the check mark on the top right. Once it opens up, you'll notice that you have various options on the bottom, but most of them are only available with the Pro. What isn't is the text. So when you click on it, you can find one of the three fonts that you like, and then you can add words that you know you'll use often as a template. So if, for example here, goal, if you're someone who likes tracking your goals, you can by pinching two fingers and moving them away from each other, you can make this word bigger and smaller. And on the bottom right here, you notice that there's a lot of options for this style. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'll change the color to black. And then I'm gonna add a shadow. And so I'm gonna angle it, and then I can change the angle to whatever I'd like. All right, once you like how it looks, you click the check mark on the top right once again, and you'll export it as an image. And so I just save it. And so once again, I'll go to my blank template and add the image that I've just created. And this again is transparent. Now, rather than having all this white space, if I tap on the image and click crop in GoodNotes, I can crop it down so it's just the word and I can resize it. So as you notice, it's a transparent image. Okay, and so those are more apps that you can use that are free in order to create different types of templates. So you have those that you can create actual formats or can, you can use one to create icons and words. To end this video, I just wanna remind you that I have three different options of journals in case you haven't purchased one yourself or don't know how to build one and don't wanna bother taking the time to learn. So I have this particular notebook that I'm using now has a 37 built-in templates that you can use along with six hyperlink sections. And in this case, this journal comes alongside a course with nine video tutorials that help you learn how to customize your journal to meet your exact needs. But if you feel confident that you can customize it yourself without the tutorials or you just want to learn via YouTube, you can also check out the course called Two Digital Notebooks, because that course just has two notebooks, this one here in portrait mode and this one here in landscape mode, along with two videos, though not tutorials, just two videos that shows you how I've customized them. So both of these notebooks come with 12 hyperlink sections. And if you'd like to, there's also five blank page templates that you could use to create your own templates, now that you know how to do so. And again, you can copy and paste these pages over and over again and create more and more templates. Now, if you'd rather try a free option first, I also have a sample digital notebook that's completely free. And it comes with three hyperlink sections along with five page templates that are built in and one blank page so you can design your own templates. All right, so as you can see here, this is what the free one comes with. So you have different options. I, of course, recommend the full course because it comes with so many built-in templates as well as the videos to help you figure out all the ways you can customize your particular journal. 
But of course, I do want to have more options for you. So you can see all three by looking at my Teachable page. And so that's ever-educating.teachable.com.